Got everything? I think so. Good deal. I got the other two. The only way to create trust in a relationship that's non-conventional as these is through consistency. There is no track record. So starting from zero, where you're just married as strangers, you have to be consistent in order for the other person to trust you. It's the only way to have a successful marriage. Uh, so did you, <laughs> did you, when are we gonna find out about this wedding next week? Uh, let me text my friend once we get a second. Okay, i have to figure it out, I'm just kidding. Yeah. So I think we've been talking about, I know we have a lot going on, but I feel like I had to ask you a lot of times now. <laughs> And next weekend, we both have plans. The same day, Cody has a wedding to go to that he was hoping to take me to. And then my friend, Brittany, who's my best friend since I was six and was in my wedding, she has her 30th birthday. So since then, I've been hoping he would tell me what time the wedding it was at so he could figure out if we could do both. And two weeks later, we still haven't determined what the plan is. So I'm a little bit concerned. I'll text CC right now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> It'll help a lot on my mind. Okay. I'm just kind of... Eh, right now about where I am in the marriage. Let's see, uh, D, so the reception, or the ceremony starts at 5.30 and the reception is right after. Oh, God. So it's probably too tight to go to both. Oh, that's what I was worried about. It just sucks that I kind of dropped the ball. How long is the ceremony? Uh, it depends. I know Danielle, like during the honeymoon, asked me a couple times, and then we got so busy with that, I forgot to do it. And then when we got back, I got so busy with work and moving in that I forgot to do it a couple times too. So uh, Danielle got really mad and disappointed, and it definitely makes me feel worried about our marriage because uh, I'm really committed to doing whatever it takes to make this work. I, to me, it's important if I tell someone I'm going to be somewhere to be somewhere. Sometimes I feel like we vibe well, and then sometimes I don't get what's going on. I don't want to have to keep asking things like a thousand times. Yeah, I mean, I dropped the ball on that one. I'm just trying to think about other stuff, or do you have any other example, or...? To me, that one is kind of a big deal. I feel like at the conversation, sometimes him and I dance in circles, and I'm trying to stay positive and open, because I'm married, I'm not just dating somebody, but I'm not feeling that attraction to my husband like I would hope, so that's really affecting me at this point. I'm really trying. I really am. Like, I want this to work so bad. I just feel like maybe part, does part of you not want it to work? There is a future. I've always wanted to get married and find that person that I could grow with and that person that I could trust and be totally vulnerable with. But right now, this marriage isn't very good and it just kind of seems like she's not into it or, um, yeah, I don't. It sucks. <laughs> I don't know what I'm feeling right now. Cause now I don't know. It sucks. It really does. I